for the people Where will there be a harvest for the world? Where will there be a harvest for the world? Harvest for the world. Hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Thank you, Isley Brothers, for that beautiful song. When will there be a harvest for the world? Mm. I wait for the day. But listen, y'all, I got some serious news to pass on to everybody. Any Montana senator... <laughs> He says that there is significant concern for the Chinese spy balloon that is in the U.S. airspace uh, and targeted intercontinental ballistic missile fields in sinister intelligence gathering mission. You see what I'm saying? We're going to be so busy fighting the wars within and they're going to get us from without because we're getting weaker and weaker. And you, you know what? Y'all arrogance, your pompousness won't allow you to see that. Even though if you play in sports, you know that the worst team should get the best opportunity to get the number one pick to strengthen the team. You know, so you know the concept. It's just that your arrogance and your pompousness is going to drive all of us to hell. Because the Chinese is coming. And they ain't playing. They're not playing. And guess what? <laughs> Y'all better stop all that stuff talking about how America with her military might can defeat everybody. <sighs> Can't hardly even put a, a, a force together that's not full of drugs and alcohol and white supremacists. And there are some countries that just can't wait. Like they ran us out of Afghanistan. There are some countries that can't wait to get their hands on America's ass. Because you've been a bully. Our foreign policies and we've just been a bully all over the world. And unfortunately, unfortunately, these men don't understand it. They don't understand that it's not by your power and by your might. And you better learn some, uh, you know, diplomacy. And, and because you can't, that's probably going to be the death of us all. The Montana senator says that uh, he fears that the Chinese a spy balloon floating above the United States was targeting his state's nuclear uh, missile fields. Dane sent the letter to the Department of Defense Secretary Lord Austin, Lloyd Austin on Thursday demanding information about the flight pattern and the hostile country's possible agenda. While the Pentagon opposed President Joe Biden's request to shoot it out of the sky, Dane's requested an urgent secret, uh, security briefing as he fears the state's Air Force Base and the U.S. intercontinental ballistic missiles silos are in jeopardy. Look at this. And we were, and we, we dealing with um, um, police uh, reform and uh, stupid shit and we are under attack. Now, I'm not saying that's stupid shit. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying it's stupid in the sense that we should be way past this now. This is elementary stuff. You know, to keep us uh, us uh, dealing with this black and white, black and white, and y'all doing stuff like splicing cells together, doing stuff like preparing for war, and you got a, a certain segment of us just 
focusing on this race stuff because that's real too. And again, this country is going to be destroyed from within, not from without. We it's we going to soften it up. Just put it like that. We're going to soften the country up for the external uh, uh, demand on us. Danes insisted that the Department of Defense take the surveillance of the balloon seriously, especially as it hovers over Montana. Montana plays a vital national security role by housing nuclear missile silos at Malmstrad, AFB Danes wrote. Given the increased hostility and the destabilization around the globe aimed at the United States and our allies, I am alarmed by the fact that this spy balloon was able to infiltrate the airspace of our country and Montana. He further pleaded with Austin to take initiative for safety and security of Americans. There is no higher priority for your administration than the safety and security of the American people, and it is imperative that your administration reassure them of that fact at this time, Dames concluded. See, and one thing y'all don't understand, y'all do not, this is what you don't understand. You do not. I know you feel like you've made a lot of contributions to humanity, but most of them were by thievery and murder. And I know you don't think that the universe is going to allow you to go unpunished, do you? I know you think you're God. But one thing the conscience of America has always been presented to you by black people. We've been your moral compass all through time. But I'm going to tell you, we're not going to be able to save y'all asses. <laughs> we're not. Because every dog has his day. Every dog has his day. And uh, China is not playing. On Wednesday, Biden suggested that the high altitude balloon should be shot down. The Pentagon disagreed with the president for fearing civilian casualties if the giant balloon the size of three buses is exploded in the mid in midair. The United States government has detected and is tracking the high altitude surveillance balloon that is over the continental United States right now. Pentagon spokesman uh, Brigo General Pat Ryder told uh, NBC. We continue to track and monitor it very closely. F-22 Raptors were sent from the Nellis Air Force Base in southern Nevada, but they are not thought to have engaged with the balloon. Their activities prompted a ground stop at the airport in Billings, Montana. However, the air traffic controller citing a special military mission. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. They talk about 2025. 2025 might be uh, before then that this confrontation takes place between America and China. Not good. What y'all think about this? What do y'all think about this, people? See, and they gonna blow us up or whatever they plan on doing. It's not be. It's not gonna be based on color. It's gonna be based on you, the United States of America, and we gonna do harm to you. Mm. All right, you guys. I want to know what you think. If you like what you hear, please like and subscribe and share the channel. I appreciate you all for sharing the channel and allowing it to grow a little bit. I thank you for your donations. I thank you for watching the cartoons. I mean, the um, commercials. I really appreciate it. And so if you like what you hear, subscribe and share the channel. See you in the next video.